See, it just feels like a waste of time. What does? Everything, every decision I make, every action I take, ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, means absolutely fuck all. What fuck's wrong with you? No, I've, not, I've just been thinking. Well, do you want a nut? It's just, do you know who your ancestors were? My ancestors? No fuck. Well, see the way you don't know them? If you do have the luxury or perhaps misfortune of having children, See later down the line, say, a couple of hundred years, nobody will ever remember who you are. No one, not unless you do something really, really good or really, really awful. Well, I really, really can't be fucked talking about this. But do you not find it interesting, the mix of comfort and distress and thinking about the futility of life? Sometimes, mate, you, you know, now that you mention it, see the other day, right, I, I was watching a seagull and it was getting absolutely stuck into a pile of vomit on the floor. Like, and I mean getting absolutely tore the fuck into What it. kind of vomit? What do you mean, what kind? I'm just trying. I'm trying to picture the scene here. Like, like, like what kind of vomit? Oh right. Well, well I'm not exactly a, a vomit connoisseur, but uh, this was some fucking Michelin starred boat. Wow. We garnish on the side. No. Wow. And this seagull, right? He, he might as well have been rubbing his wee hands together. He was loving life. We napkin tucked in all, fucking like salivating and all. He, he looked like he looked like a cartoon, mate. That's what he looked like. He looked like a like a fucking cartoon. Aye. And then I thought, if that seagull can get that much joy out of what basically headbutting a pile of vomit on the floor for sustenance, like just like basically just smashing its head off the ground, picking up wee bits of like cart and all, then why can't I? A what? Cart. What? Cart? A, a cart? A, a, a cart? A cart? A ca carrot? A carrot? Aye. Well, if that seagull can get that amount of joy out of that, then why can't I? But what if you don't have a Michelin starred pile of vomit to indulge in? Well, the point is in the pile of vomit, mate. It's about finding happiness in the little things. That sounds like capitalist propaganda to me. Well, maybe so, but it at least keeps a smile on my face without worrying about the future too much. I'll put it this way, you have no idea what could be around the corner, and it might just... Oh, I just stood in dog shit. You're not listening to me. I just stepped in dog shit. And I'm not done talking, mate. So he finally goes down to the doctor. The doctor runs his test. Guess what he tells him? What? He tells him you have fizzy blood. Fizzy blood? Carbonated blood. Carbonated blood? I don't know any other synonyms for the word fizzy. Right, well, how do I think he got it? Well, it's supposedly from jumping about a bit too much. And what can he do about it? Doctor told him to just stop jumping about as much. That's shit, mate. He'll take that hard. I know he loves jumping about a bit too much, like, doctor's orders, though. Well, that's it. I mean, would you rather jump about a bit too much and then, like, have it cut, like, short early? Or jump about, like, a, like a, just a bit, like a wee bit, like a decent bit, but, like, just a bit, nonetheless. But then, like, be able to do that for, like, uh, for, like, a, a more prolonged period of time. I ain't gonna be honest, mate. I haven't a clue what you're on about. Clean that shit. Well, fuck me. He came out of nowhere. Well, he can fuck off back there. There's no stopping us now, but we're in this far too deep now. I know what you are thinking. And yes, we did both spend the last six years trying to reanimate David Bowie using sophisticated AI software that uses numbers and shit. But we accidentally typed his name out as Dorvid Bowie. Instead of David Bowie creating a half David Bowie, half door hybrid rock star doomed to exist on this hellhole of a planet. Too weird to live, but too rare to door. There's a door man waiting by the door. He'd love to door and door you, but he thinks he'd door you door. We kept it a secret at first. We locked him away in the spare room. With the man who sold the door. It's a lovely place, but why is that room cordoned off? Oh, it's, it's been like there since we uh, moved in. It's a uh, uh, faulty, faulty wall. Uh, faulty wall. Uh, that sounds good. He walked in through the door. Just, there's a weird noise sort of emanating from it. You know, it almost sounds like someone singing David Bowie songs, but replacing every sort of second or third word with the word door. <laughs> yeah, it, it does sound an awful, an awful lot like that, doesn't it? Days turn to nights, nights turn to days, our sanity turned to dust. Eventually, there was only one thing for it. We took an axe and dismembered Dorvid Bowie. 
take a look at the door, man, walking through the wrong door. No door, look at those doorman door. That's the freakiest door. There's that iPhone door. So we chopped him up, and we put him in the boot. It was the only thing for it. I can still hear it, Nate's door dream. I said it was the only thing for it. And now we're both prisoners to our dreams, which we planted and nurtured into our own respective horrible nightmares. You're going we far too fast. We tried to play God. We tried to create beauty. We failed. Such is the beauty of life. It relies on death to exist. And what a free will. Would David Boy even have agreed to being reanimated? Put on your red door and door. The balance of nature must be maintained, for without death, there is no value to life. Three dead in this one. They said it was the half door, half David Boy hybrid that did the damage. Can you stop filming the rockets, please? I'll film what I want, thank you. i film what I want. I'm raising awareness. Uh, uh, folks, we, we're raising awareness today, uh, folks. Awareness for what? We are raising awareness for car crashes, folks. And, uh, well, the door, something to do with the door, sorry, folks. And I, I'm letting people know that the cars can crash, and I am raising awareness for a car crisis. Car crisis. That, that is the crashing of this cars. This is a crime scene. We don't want to film in their bodies. What about their families? The family? Well, what about my YouTube channel? It's 2024, mate. Nobody cares about people's feelings anymore. Not unless it generates traffic to content. That's TTC, as we call it, on my uh, Discord. My YouTube channel of... I, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. <laughs> Film all you want, then, mate. So, so uh, hey, you should have said. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Just maybe next time, just try and show a bit of, bit of respect. A, a bit of respect for the content creators, you know. We have hearts, too. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. We're Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Stop what? what you're doing. There's, there's an emergency here. I've accidentally offended a content I'm creator. I'm feeling weak. What? I'm weak. I'm sorry. I don't, the, the work's just been really getting to me. I refer myself to the ombudsman. I refer myself to the ombudsman. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, request an extra uh, paramedics. That is uh, extra paramedics. I'm weak. The, a what? An apartment collapsed? I don't care how many times I across the street we have an influencer here and he feels dizzy. I feel dizzy. Yeah, everyone, stand back. I'll help. This is the undizzle, undizzle whistler, and it, this, it stops people from feeling dizzy. Yeah. Wow, wow, now I feel a lot better. I, I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I'm ready to tackle the world again. Uh, you sure are. And guess what, folks? It's now available on our TikTok store at a reduced rate of £7.89. Or alternatively, come and see us in store and let us know what we can do for you. Good job. We sell hang so with the... So basically, I just saw the advert and came straight down. Well, that's brilliant. We sell all kinds of things here. The customer is always right, and the only people who are wrong are the underpaid, overworked people who actually build and make the product. Wow, as a proud venture capitalist, that sounds absolutely brilliant. So, so what is this? Uh, this product allows you to experience every sound, every smell, every taste, every touch, and every sight possible, all condensed down into five seconds. Wow, let's try. How was it? Loud. Did you hear that? Hear what? It sounded. It sounded like some someone's brain just exploded next door. Would you prefer it? If someone's brain had exploded next well, door? Yeah, it would actually. It would have brought me immense joy to have shared a spontaneous moment with that person, even one as graphic and horrific as that. Explain. Truth is, I often feel so alone that sharing even the simplest of moments with people gives me a great sense of relief and purpose. Okay. Well, basically, I've been going to places where people deliver rounds of applause. Uh, for example, a political rally, a business conference, uh, people's weddings when they give speeches. Just turning up uninvited. 
And what I do is, whenever there's a round of applause, I'll clap with everyone. But see the final clap? If I can time it just right with the person beside me, oh, it's, it's the only thing that brings me joy anymore. Nothing else brings you joy? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Really? Well, tell I also like farting in clubs and blaming it on people. And I also like Kinder Brano milkshake. But aside from that, I have nothing else to live for. Well, that sounds about right. Why, what were you actually expecting from life? I'm not sure, really, but uh, some, something better than this. Well, now, the world can't just be all farts and milkshakes, can it? I suppose not. Have you tried a whole foods diet? Yes. Well, I'm out of ideas, uh, except we're only allowed to prescribe these after we've tried everything else. I have tried everything else. When you're at the end of your tether. I am at the end of my tether. And you've essentially lost your mind. I fart in clubs for spiritual sustenance. Behold! Wow, what is it? Press the button and find out. I can be your hero, blah. I can kiss away the blah. I can wow. be your hero, blah. As I say, uh, I we don't really prescribe the these in extreme blah. cases. It's beautiful. I can be your hero, blah. I can kiss away the blood. Ah, they're only wee cheap old things, but the results speak for themselves. Wow. Suddenly I feel I as if I have a new lease of life, blood. and it's all down to you, Doc. Consider me saved. Cut. Brilliant, guys. That's a wrap. Uh, well, thanks a lot for letting me shadow your work over the past few weeks. The, the experience has been invaluable. Not a problem. Hey, listen, I was going to say, now things are all wrapped up. What are you doing this evening? No plans. Why? I was going to ask if you'd like to join me for dinner and drinks. Yeah, I'd love to. Where? At my local church. They do really great work for people. God knows they brought me back from the brink many times. They work wonders if you're in a bad place. I'm not in a bad place, though. You are in a bad place. I'm not. No, listen. You are. I am in a bad place. But you could be in a better place. I can be in a better place. So come on down to the Ball Bag Tabernacle. We look after you. The Ball Bag Tabernacle. We look after you. That's brilliant. It really encapsulates what we stand for as an entity. The three Bs. Brainwashing, uh, Bible, and uh, um, uh, 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 Biblical. Isn't that just like the same word as Bible? Oh, I, sp I suppose you're right. That's the uh, B, let me see, thinking of bees, B, B, Bs, B, 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 Baptism, Baptism, do Baptism. Uh, so so you, you can just stick that onto the YouTube channel. Oh, right? I stick that anywhere you want, mate, anywhere That's you brilliant. want. You, you know what the best part of running a weird evangelical church that brainwashes and manipulates people when they're at their lowest is? Being sanctimonious. No fuck, it's the tax breaks. Uh, and, and I like the wee sandwiches we got too. Can we get more wee sandwiches, please? I was in a really dark place. I, I just couldn't stop sniffing drugs. And what happened? Well, it's sniffing, it's sniffing. Uh, at my lowest, uh, I accidentally sniffed the house keys. That is a dark place. That's naff, no sure. I, I tried to sniff a lock, not no to break through the door, but accidentally sniffed the whole flat. Put it right up my neb. Wow. It didn't end there, though. I, once I started sniffing animate objects, I just couldn't stop. Started sniffing small towns, just, just, wee, just wee towns people wouldn't even notice, like uh, Five Maid Town, uh, Garva, Castle Ballags. But, uh, but it just, it just spiralled out you of control. You couldn't shake it, could you, son? I couldn't shake it, and by spring I'd sniff the entire northern hemisphere right up my big neb. Amen. But it just kept going. The rest of the planet was late work, and, and it started on the solar system. 
and beyond. By, by Christmas, I had sniffed everything in the entire universe. I'd, I'd sniffed a lot, right, right up my fucking nose, everything that exists, right my sinus. And and here we are is today. Is that why the, wait, when you, like the rain, is, it, like, is that snotty? Like, is that meant to be, like, if it rained, is that meant to be, like... like Fuck up. Well, that's excellent. Praise be to the Lord. Uh, now, everyone, we have Claire in today, and, and she has a big problem. Hi, Claire. Claire. Hey, everyone. So what seems to be the problem, Claire? Well, it's my little yogi, Rupert. He just won't stop shaking everywhere. We've tried everything. So now we believe it's finally time to turn to God. Oh, man. Hello, Rupert. Well, it's funny you did. In fact, every line in the Bible can be twisted to fit your exact predicament. Wow, really? Absolutely. In fact, you can twist it to fit anything you'd like. That's the whole point. Wow, what if I wanted a world of farts and milkshakes? I see, that might be a bit out of hand. We draw the line at gluttony. But your dog's excrement problem? Light work. Wow, so how do we do it? Well, it's simple. Just join me in prayer. Oh, holy God, please give little Rupert the gift of autonomy over his bowels, or perhaps in failing that, allow his excrement the power of critical thought to know when and to when not. Amen. 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 You wee dog, aren't you? I'm a wee dog, yes. Who, who's that wee dog? Who's that? Who's that? You wee dog, aren't you? Fuck me, and you're fucking brain dead, aren't you? You stupid fucking... All right, Rupert, now it's just me and you. I can stop pretending to be nice in front of the church. Your next dog shed better be sentient, or so help me God, I'm taking you to the pound. <laughs> fucking pound. The first pound you've seen about, anyway, you tight arse fucking... it just feels like a waste of time. Uh, don't start that fucking shade again. <laughs>